after booking their place in the Coupe de France final for the second year running earlier this week. Nantes turned their attention back to the league and set about ending their six-match winless run in Liga 1 Ubritz when they welcomed Monaco to the Bourgeois. The Canaries' 3-0 loss at home to Rance last time out and left them just four points above the relegation zone. The return to winning ways needed to come sooner rather than later. They were coming up against a strong fourth-place Monaco side who had moved to within three points of Marseille and lost for a Champions League berth when they edged Strasbourg in a seven-goal thriller. And indeed, it didn't take the visitors too long to break the deadlock. Axel de Zazi bringing down a Kayo on an Ike corner on his chest and smashing the ball beyond Albon Lafont. Very rare you see a player able to chest down a corner. And it is de Zazi's area of expertise. All eight of his top-flight goals have come from set pieces. Second would follow soon after for Monaco. Again, an Enrique corner from the left. Lafont coming out but not getting there. The ball then coming off Elliot Matazzo and crossing the line before Samuel Mutusemi could clear. Referee confirming the decision via his watch. Enrique has delivered six assists from set piece situations this campaign, more than any other player from Europe's top five leagues. So 2 0 at half time. It appeared little prospect of a comeback for Le Canary. And when the two sides re emerged, it was Monaco who produced the next shot on goal. Rick Blaz for now watching from the bench. 17 year old Elias Ben Seguir's long range shot produced a decent save from Lafont. However, Antoine Comboire who made six changes to his starting 11, sent on some of the big names not long after the break. Blaz, along with Mustafa Mohamed and Ignatius Ganago. Nantes duly reduced the deficit in the 65th minute as a Blaz corner was headed in by Egyptian international Mohamed. At Mohamed's seventh goal of the season, equaling his compatriot Mido as the best Egyptian goalscorer in the top flight. Monaco could have restored their two goal lead shortly after. Good work by De Zazi. Nice cross. And a decent volleyed effort by Alexander Golovin. But not one that would beat Lafont. If they could have restored it through Golovin, they perhaps should have restored it through Wissam Ben Yedda. Good lofted through ball for the captain. Lafont initially just about doing enough before the follow up was blocked on the line by Andre Girato. Great covering by the Brazilian centre back. As the game became more and more end to end, Lafont would make the most of their backline's resilience at the other end. Cross put in by yet another substitute, Quentin Merlin, and Blads at the back post to complete the comeback. Blads has scored 32 goals since he joined Nantes in 2019, more than any other midfielder in the top flight over the last four seasons. So the fans probably don't need a reminder of his name. The hosts could even have won it late on. Another goal by Mohamed was disallowed for a fractional offside and it ended 2-2. That means Nantes are now seven domestic games without a win. The circumstances in which they got this point will do them plenty of good. They look to stay clear of trouble. Monaco, meanwhile, lose precious ground in the fight for the top three.